We have two sprockets on our Racer 8 cart. The smaller one is on the motor and the larger one is on the drive axle and they work together to propel the cart. The size of these sprockets and the number of teeth on them determine the torque and speed that the cart will be able to produce. And we can use different size sprockets on both the motor and drive axle, although the drive axle does have space considerations where you can't make it too large. There are some markings on the sprockets and we'd like to explain what they mean in this different context. Here we see one on the edge of the sprocket and one on the actual face of the sprocket. So we'll look at these numbers that we can read 35B S25 and we'll take a look at their meaning here. The first number in the sequence is 35 or 35. This is the chain size that we have on this particular vehicle. The middle set of initials B and S stand for board steel. This is the composition of the material that the sprocket is made out of. And then the 25 indicate the number of teeth on the sprocket. If you count around the outside of the sprocket, you can count 25 teeth. When vehicles are first engineered, we need to determine how much torque we need to accelerate and also the size of the sprocket for the top end speed. This is a compromise that engineers make when designing drive and axle sprockets. Another important consideration when choosing sprockets is the space between the sprockets and the space between the axle sprocket and the ground clearance.